Okay, hi and welcome back, Larry's Computer Class. Now we're going to show you how to upload files to your host. Uh, you've seen the previous video, you've got your domain name registered, you've got your host registered. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your host, uh, you're going to log in, and you're going to upload your files. So what you do, I already started here. Um, what I did, I used 000webhost.com It's a good web host. I haven't had any problems with it so far. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to sign into whoever you use, GoDaddy, whatever you want, go to the web page, uh, log in, like I said, and then you're going to go to your files. Uh, what you're going to see, when you're looking for your hosts and you're online and it says in the description uh, we use cPanel. What that means is control panel. Uh, cPanel is this, this page right here. All your options. There's a lot of stuff on here you're probably not going to use. Uh, some stuff you will use, some stuff you won't. But uh, for now we're simply going to come down here where it says file and we're going to click on file which I actually already did. It's right here. And it brings you to this page right here. And here we have some choices. We have a new directory, which is folders, a new file, upload, uh, Java upload. We're not going to use that for now. Over here we have move, delete, uh, rename, and I'm not sure what that button is used for. So what we're going to do, this host, uh, 000webhost.com, uh, requires that all uploaded files go into this folder, public underscore HTML. Uh, some do this, some don't. Uh, sometimes you'll hit upload and your files will just simply di continue displaying right on this front, on this main page. But for this web page, we have to click on public underscore HTML. And then you're going to go to upload and upload your files. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to upload our files from our web page right here. We're going to upload these files to our host and as you can see we have folders and from here what we're going to do is we go back to our host. We have a folder so what we're going to have to do is we're going to create a new directory because we need that file, that folder. And we're just going to type in here icon and we're going to click go. And it's going to create that new directory. Then we just simply go back. And as you can see, we have our icon. Now, what we're going to do, because on our web page, our icon has three folders in it. Uh, this we're not going to upload this for now. We'll get to that later. But we want to work on these three folders. So what we do is we click on our icon, which is going to bring us to that file. And then we're going to go to directory again. And then we're going to put in our three files. We have close, fishing, and sport. And then we click on go. And they're all created successfully. And then we're going to go back. And now, uh, this particular web page, we use this up folder to go back. Uh, everyone might be a little bit different. Some might have a back button. Some might use this up folder. The up folder means to go back. So now we're back at our public underscore HTML file. Uh, don't use your back button on your browser. Uh, it won't work. It'll cause you problems. Use your up or whatever if they give you a back button over here to go back. Use that. So now we have our public HTML file. We have our icon folder. And inside our icon folder we have our other folders. Clothes, fishing, and sports. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the clothing. Click on that folder. That opens HTML forward slash icon forward slash close. So now what we can do is we come to upload. And then it's going to say browse your computer. 
and we're going to go to desktop because that's where our file is actually stored. We're going to go to my web page. Uh, we're going to go to icon and then we're going to go to close and what we're going to do is we're going to just gonna double click double click double click uh, four five six seven and eight uh, just a word of caution when you're uploading files like this, uh, you are limited. The maximum size of one file is 5 meg. So what that means is when you're uploading, if you have large files, um, you want to limit how many you upload at a time. Uh, these are very small files, so I can upload them all at one time. Uh, recommended you don't go over 10 or 12 files at a time, even if they're small, medium-sized files. Um, what happens is if you go over your limit, it's only going to upload so many files. And then you have to go back and you have to see what got uploaded and what didn't get uploaded. And what didn't get uploaded, you're going to have to go back in here and upload and go through browse and upload the ones that didn't get uploaded. So uh, don't put 15, 20, 25 files here to be uploaded at one time. 10, 12 max on small, medium files. Uh, even less if you have large files. But then once you get your files done, just click go. And it tells you file one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all okay. It tells you how they uploaded it, what what they used to upload it, uh, and just simply hit go again, and you're all set. All those files are uploaded into your close. Right here, you have HTML icon close. You close file, your eight files. So now what you want to do is go back to your icon folder. And then you want to go to Fishing, and then Upload, and then you're going to Browse, and then here at the top, my web page, Icon Close, you're done with Close, so simply just click back to the icon, go to Fishing, Upload, Upload, and upload and then upload files everything's okay I think no problem and then same thing again you're gonna go back uh, you're gonna go back icon then you want support upload and then you hit browse and then he, same thing here, you're done with fishing, so you want to just click back on the icon, go to sports, and then upload these. One, two, three, upload. Whenever you're uploading, especially for the first time, you want to do all your files and you want to do all your folders first. Okay, and then go back. back again. You want to go right back to your hit back again. You want to go right back to your public underscore HTML. And then from here, there you go, you have your icon file. These other files that come with it, um, leave alone. You don't have to do nothing. Don't delete them or anything like that. Uh, you go back to your public HTML file. Upload. Browse. Uh, go back to your icons. You're actually going to go back to my web page. Uh, your icons is all done. Now what you want to do is you want to upload all your other files, your HTML files, your CSS files. So just click on that. That. Your indexed. Contact and sports, and then upload. Everything's okay. 
continue and there you go you're all set uh, this is a pretty small web page so it's pretty simple to uh, upload uh, when I had to upload mine I had to upload uh, five folders and I think I was at 93 or 95 files to upload so this one's pretty simple so now we got all our files uploaded they're all set to go and what I actually did is because I have a host and a domain name what I did is I created what they call a subdomain I have my Larry's computer class .com, and I can create subdomains under it so what I did is I created a subdomain and I named it my new store and then this webuda.com they added they picked this name for you and add it to it so our web host is going to be our domain name is going to be my new store dot w e b u d a dot com so we can actually because I have a subdomain we can actually go to our browser we can type in www dot my new store dot uh, w e b u d a dot com and we can hit enter hmm what did I put in wrong webuda.com oh, let's just try that again dot my new store dot webuda.com maybe I typed it in right there we go now we have our web page our web page is live in this folder here all our files here is now live on the net and we can use this I'll leave this set up so that as we work on our web page and uh, do things here and there we got our top header set up we got our inline table set up here uh, next we'll start working on our columns we can work on our folders our footer I'm sorry the footer down here stuff like that and that's it that's how you upload files to your host very simple uh, like I said if it's uh, if it's a big web page you're doing like mine uh, these are actually all my files that were in here this was actually a list of, like I said 93 or 95 files plus all my folders at the top I had four or five folders at the top I had to upload things like that so it was a little more time consuming uh, once you get your files uploaded and you come to here indexed you come over here to edit make sure you're on your index file click edit and there's your your markup language there's your index file so if we wanted to come down here uh, column one say we start selling some new merchandise uh, TR TD a reference equals uh, what are we gonna sell let's say uh, let's say we have boats that we're selling make this a capital S so that they're all consistent you want to be consistent so now we have boats boats.html we simply click save and then we can go back and then we can come to our web page we can hit refresh and there you go we made the S capital and we added boats now if we click on this it's going to say file not found because we didn't actually create this file but if we click on sports we have our sports pictures uh, we click on fishing 
we have our fishing pitches and our clothes. We have our clothes pitches. And that's how it goes. Uh, so that's that for now. Uh, next, we're going to do a little more styling on tables. We styled this table across the top. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to style this table, make some borders, make some frames, do the same thing, maybe get rid of the line underneath it, change the color of it, and then we can add, like here, our hover. What happens when you hover over something? We can add some effects to that. Um, the middle, we'll have to work on what we want to put in the middle. Any suggestions, feel free to uh, send me an email, aircraftf18 at live.com. Uh, anything you want to suggest we put in the middle, you want to put pictures, um, you can put some pictures of your store, maybe take a picture of outside your store so that when people pull up to your store they recognize it easier, things like that over here. Uh, maybe you can do like what I did on on my webpage, you can put some advertising over here, uh, things like that. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do, we'll have to get a little creative here, but next we're going to work on on styling this table in the left column. And that's it. Enjoy. I hope this uh, works out good. Your hosting, your domain name. Let's have some fun.